everyone to part two of this fun adventure I call Firewatch. Uh, this one's going to be a little shorter, only because I got work in about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So I'm aiming at like maybe 20 minutes. I'm going to make more tomorrow, or maybe the day after, but I'll figure it out as I go. But uh, let's, let's keep it going. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger, and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. She's quirky and funny, and I like it. Yay! Part two! Let's do it! Huzzah! Back to the cave. The cave of wonders! Let's go, Geronimo! You can clearly tell I'm having fun. If you can't, well... May I suggest to you my high class store? So you can see better. Yeah, that, that's the best I had, I'm sorry. It wasn't a good joke. Dang it, now I got the Wii Sports song stuck in my head. Thanks a lot, internet. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, boring if you don't ski. We used to go to this bar called the Dollar, though. I love that place. Oh, wait, is that down on Pearl? They have all the money pinned to the ceiling? Yeah, that's it, yeah. I love that bar. Why don't you go anymore? I took this job. Oh, <laughs> duh. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... <laughs> Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Uh, that's too bad. I used to go caving in Colorado a lot with someone. It would be really nice to pick that back up. Fun memories, huh? Big time. I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out for those keys. Don't hold your breath. I think I came out the right way. Yeah, I did. Hold on. Double check my map. Yeah, this this one's gonna be a little little short today, guys. I hate to break it to you, but I gotta finish porting the last video to my hard drive, and then I have to like, edit it, and then just you get it. It's just a long, never-ending process. 
I need an editor. In medicine. If you're an editor and you want to edit my videos, you do me and Aiden Brown the big dude a huge favor. So I hung a left out of the cave and I'm passing through Thunder Canyon now. I'm not seeing any wires in here. Oh, no, 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 no. It sounds like you turn east towards Jonesy Lake. Look, from the cave, you just want to come out and go straight to the north. Got it. How do I get my compass? I think it's, yes, okay. So north. Okay. Wait. Got it. North would be okay. Hello. Woodpecker. We have some woodpeckers near our house sometimes. They make so much noise and they're really loud, like all the time. I've never actually seen a woodpecker before that I can remember. But they're cute. What's that noise? I thought I heard like a bongo. Bongo! Bongo. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Oh no, what could we have? <sighs> Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. So we really yeah, can't man, reach anyone any works. other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Beer can, beer can, beer can. Beer can, beer can, beer can. Damn it. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm. I don't know. Um... 
way for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Hmm, that is a pickle. I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. God, this game is so big. It's so hard and easy to get lost. I do not know. Maybe we'll follow their beer cans. Hey, it worked. Which way should I go? All the beer cans. Dude, how much beer did they drink? You wasted. Jesus. Interesting. Oh, this is with the camera. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh?
so we got less than 10 minutes on the uh, recording left, guys, and then I'm going to have to end it for today. We'll pick back up on uh, next time, sometime this weekend. I think either so tomorrow or Saturday. Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years. Whereas my Aunt Judy traveled the world dating artists and musicians as she saw fit. Call me crazy, but I'd rather spend a week in bed with Sonny Bono than half a lifetime with some cheating stockbroker. I'm actually married. But you're here. Everything's fine, just, you know, we're taking some time apart, getting some fresh air. A little change. Yeah. All right, well, we can just leave it at that. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain-link fence? A chain-link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. What do you think they're keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh. Geez, so many things. Should I just stop you now? Maybe loads of hedgehogs. Okay. Thousands even. Full percentage points of the global hedgehog population. Uh-huh. The New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? Well, folks are hiding them all in Wyoming. That's where they are. Who would do that and why? Ha-ha. <laughs> that is the real mystery. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the high-quality information. Sorry for the Okay, uh, the okay. Audio I'll ask what's up guys. if I talk to someone in the next few days who I think might know. From this burned my, section of forest, family. I have no idea where to go. Their trail That's is pretty cold at this point. Really loud. Mm, you're out by Mule barking. Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. I'm getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me? Flapjack? You know, like a loser. A chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy second. martini, My dog you've is got like just the name. Really annoying me. Sorry about that, guys. To use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! Also, that Flapjack insult's like pretty, pretty, pretty quality. fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck? What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. 
<laughs> something like that? Now, thanks to last summer, the Bumpin' Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is, like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. Hey, remember that guy from yesterday, the guy I saw hiking home? The sheet thief. Yeah, that guy. Go on. Maybe he was from this fence place. Mm, from the land of the fence. Yes. You know what? I'll make a note. You might be on to something. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Mm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Where do I go? I do not know. I do not know. I think this is it. Yeah, I'm on the right path. I hope the streams are running pretty good. It should be. This game is still very, very, very nice. Just about to wrap up this episode. We got. Look, just so you know, I didn't left. mean to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. I know you didn't. You were just making conversation. I appreciate it. So, tell me about her, if you want. She's a college professor, she's a PhD in biology, evolution, and stuff. Evolution. That's a risque subject in these parts. Man, she sounds sexy. She sure was. Where does she teach? Boulder. That's a great school. My cousin went there. Yeah. Anyway, that's her. I really don't know how to get out of here. Maybe over this hill. Something like that. Might pick it up again tomorrow. Get a decent chunk. We didn't get the whole 30 minutes, but we still got pretty close. I'm gonna try to shoot for about 20 to 5, uh, 30, 30 minutes per episode. Our earliest recordings were close to like 45 minutes to an hour, and that's insanely long and nobody watched our videos. Which is why I'm shooting for a lower runtime so people can actually enjoy. But yeah. We get back to the tower and we'll end the recording for today and I'll see you guys this weekend. Around the same time schedule, maybe a little bit later.
I definitely do have to get a green screen though. That is that is definitely something that I'm gonna look into getting. Put the, the custom background is something cool. I don't know. I'm sure I'd find something. Actually, you know what? Instead of the... Hey, do you see that? Yeah, I think so. That thin plume of smoke? Yeah. Looks like it's way down to the southwest. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek, it's in the southwest quadrant of your map. What, you think it's those girls? I'm pretty sure it's a campfire, so yeah. I'd call that a safe bet. Man, they really do not give a shit, do they? <sighs> not a one. Well, I'm back at my shitty boss is gonna get me killed hill. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. <sighs> We're gonna save the game as soon as we get to the bottom. On PhD at home. <laughs> part of me thinks that would be insufferable, but then there's another part of me that can't help but indulge the whole hot for teacher thing. You know, heavy petting in the book stacks, furtive glances during lecture, ooh, 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 office hours role play. But professor, I can't fail chemistry. Isn't there anything I can do to pass the class? Hmm? <laughs> oh God, I think the second part's winning. We had a lot of fun. <laughs> I bet you did. Did she wear glasses the whole nine? <laughs> no, she had 20-20 vision. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Okay, guys. With that beautiful music, I think I'm going to end it. Uh, thank you again uh, for letting me do another episode of this game. It's super fun. Um, I can't wait to play more of this game. I'll let you guys watch. Uh, if you haven't checked out our merch site on Etsy, you should do that. I'll put a link in the description below. But uh, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cha cha, real smooth.